my knees go weak What's happening to me? In the dark, can you tell me what it means? I lay my head on my pillow Staring out the window To my star for a sign Alright, so Hey this is the land that we're interested in getting um this is the property so this is and as you can see they are building more all around that is the older community over there but these homes are a little bit different i like the style of these homes because it's really giving that modern vibe townhouse um and so yeah let's go and look into it so first things first they have um security so they actually have a boys quarter in here and i'm gonna show you what that means it means that you could actually have a security guard here on the property and there's a whole space for them so let's just start with the outside of the compound and then we'll go inside all right so obviously this is your whole front area your car way this is where you would park your car um now as we're walking around the house typically you know ghana fashion you are um placing your clothes on the line here after you wash unless you are fortunate enough to have a dryer but um if not you will put your clothes on the line here um and have you have this whole space available for that which is really good this is a pretty good line that they have already this is the back of the house area um, over here is the whole other neighborhood um it looks like you have some sort of escape which is cool you can climb to the rooftop it looks like from here um let's see oh this is locked but this is kind of what is going into the boys quarters but let's just walk around for the purpose of the video. Okay, so obviously you can see this house is built out of brick. Good, sturdy home here. Not no sheetrock, not no vinyl, but um, everything is built to last. So now we are about to walk into the property. One thing I love is that I love the flooring. Um, so as you can see, we're walking into the property now. And here is the lighting and how they have everything set up. So this would be the main entertainment area. Um, let me kind of show you what I was talking about with the boys quarter when we were in the back. Okay, so this is a guest bathroom. Once again, high ceilings again. Very modern style appliances and fixtures and things. Nice door. Okay, quiet doors. You can always appreciate this in Ghana. Quiet doors. Okay. Then we have the entryway into the boys' quarters. Um, and so this is where your maid would stay or, no, actually this is the guest bathroom, I'm sorry. This is the guest room. So another bathroom here. Um, let's see, what is that? Yep. Small, very, very small guest room, but it's enough to do something. Um, of course, this is there always have like a built-in wardrobe but you know where i'm from and then we don't operate like that so probably would make this like a real closet space you know or redecorate the closet space um uh, let's see let's go into the kitchen <clears throat> which happens to be my favorite part of this house so as you can see kitchen is here humongous we have the, our own ac in here i love the um middle table um this is like i said quality i don't know this might be granite but the storage is impeccable in here lots of storage 
um, which is very hard to find in some of these Ghanaian homes. Um, the builder really made use, good use of this space. Um, I love the fan here. I love the simple stove, gas stove that they offer. Um, you know I'm gonna love the sink because it's very hard to, not very hard, nowadays you can find it, but remember this house is $230,000. Negotiable. Um, it is in Lakeside Estate, so like I said, that is a little bit further out of the city, maybe like 20, 30 minutes from the airport with traffic. Okay. Um, so it's actually a really good prime location for people who are looking for the suburban feel, but, you know, want, still want the affordability of living in Ghana, because like... Yeah, we're not moving to Ghana and paying astronomical prices. So this is the voice quarter that I was talking about. Um, boom, so you have your outside laundry room area, right? This is where we will put the laundry and everything like that. Um, and then this is the voice quarter that I was talking about. So if you have a homemade or, um, you know, a security guard, this is where they would stay. Right? Have their own little shower space, own bathroom, everything. Okay. All right, so let's go into the next space. And guys, this is a four bedroom house. So it's pretty big. Pretty, pretty big. Okay, that is kitchen storage, more storage. Okay, so let's go upstairs. We have the grand staircase. Tile. So, we'll start from here. Um, this is the outside patio area. So you have your own separate area. So you're walking out, we can see everything. Hey, Lakeside, how y'all doing? Right? Come back in. Don't let your babies out, okay? Um, yeah, oh, nice little light fixture. They took their time and really made nice selections here. They definitely have the bars on the window. I don't really like that, but I guess it's for safety reasons. Um, all right, so we're going into this room. This is, I believe, the master bedroom. So as you can see, we have a really nice chandelier, a door. Wow, look at that lighting in here. Once again, I'm not gonna go outside, but you have your own balcony space once again in this room. So now we have another wardrobe here. We're gonna keep walking. This is the master bedroom, by the way. $230,000, guys. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Another built-in wardrobe. Now, this is honestly where I was sold. This is where I was sold for the top, okay? This is a very um, amazing to me that they have a tub. Um, typically, you won't find that in older build homes in Ghana, but I guess they recognize people are all about their self-care, so now you have a tub, which I love. Um, shower. Um, we have a small mirror here, but these are little things, right? Because I do like big mirrors in my bathroom, so 
It's probably something I would switch out at some point. It's nothing but a cabinet with a mirror on it. So that's a very easy repair. Um, so yeah, we're leaving out of the master bedroom, which is just really spacious, gorgeous. I love the tile um, in the room. Then you have a kitchenette located here, a little microwave, and all of these appliances come with the home. This is another entertainment area. Right. And then now we are going into the other bedrooms. Okay. Nice, nice, nice fans. Once again, built in wardrobe, but these actually have their own personal bathroom. How nice is that? Same design all throughout the house. Oh, I love that they have a nice shower, right? Um, you won't see that. And guys, I can't believe this house is $230,000. This is it, $230,000. This is what you can get in Ghana for $230,000. Stop playing. Stop playing with them. This is an up and coming neighborhood right here in Lakeside Estates, near Adenta. If you're from the community, you know exactly where that's at. Um, and so yeah, you can't beat this deal at all. Alrighty, so come with us to the second property. This is actually located in Lakeside Hills community, which is pretty much like a subdivision um not too far from the house we just came from so this is a three-bedroom house for ninety-nine thousand dollars. okay um they had grass which was sh quite shocking mm -hmm. that was the back of the house so now let's go in and take a look at the house so i mean everything was pretty standard i did not like the paint of the walls at all the kitchen mm, was basic, but it's a standard kitchen. Um, the rooms were quite small. Um, but yeah, I hate that they be having bars on these windows like fire hazard. Hello. Um, but yeah, these were some of the four story homes in that community. I definitely like these a lot better than those three bedroom like ranch style um, but yeah, it's giving cookie cutter for sure. Also, land right now, where you buy the land and then you build it. Yeah, yeah, I understand that. So no, I'm I'm more interested in being like buying the property that you guys are offering, but doing the our own construction because yeah, certain things I just didn't like in like the cut the of regular course, build. Course. So um, you just you can chip in all your ideas, mm -hmm. but it must be within the property. It won't affect the whole structural yeah. integrity. Of course. If not, it will change what we are trying to achieve. Of course, of yes. course. I, I, I get it. You guys are building a whole community. Exactly. Um, and so, my thing is, um, in or, we know that it's probably going to take, like, how long does it take to have it built? Okay. Um, what we do is that it takes a year. year. It takes a year for us to finish. We don't want any rush. Mm -hmm. and then there will be some defense inside the construction mm -hmm. process. Yeah. So we take, we tell you that it will take a year. Mm -hmm. So since we also take one year to finish, then in case you want to do an installment payment plan, with the installment payment plan, you do an initial deposit. Mm -hmm. And then with the initial deposit, you are entitled to secure your house. Mm -hmm. You can come and choose the, any property that, the location of your property. Okay. Of, within the ones that are available, the construction ones. Mm -hmm. And then when you choose from there, um, we give you that a payment plan within that frame time, the same frame time that we have. Mm -hmm. We don't need you to be paying all the time. We will not use your money to build your house. Yeah. We use our money yes. to build the house. Mm -hmm. But we also believe that within the time we give you, you also be doing your contribution. Yeah. yeah. So the moment we are done with the construction, then we hand over the keys to you and then you can move in. Okay. Let's say we finished the house but you are not you don't get a key you only get a key when you are done mm -hmm. that's how it is done 
Makes sense. So, all right. So that we have an understanding because that's good. Um, but so how much to secure the deposit? Perfect. That's a perfect question. So what we do is that um, the normal basis is that we do 50 mm -hmm. and then the remaining 50 is spread within the same year, one year. However, all hands are not equal, but you have some amount. Mm -hmm. So the minimum will require is for you to do 30% of the total amount. You do 30%, you are entitled to secure your unit. Okay. So when you do the 30%, the remaining 70 is spread within the year. Mm -hmm. And you pay it at your own pace without interest on the dollar. Okay. You get it? Yes. So okay. within that period, the only way it will affect you would be if you are paying in cities. But if you are not paying in cities and you are paying in dollar, yeah. the price stays the same. Mm -hmm. Even if the property, your value, the value of your property becomes Increase. more, you are not going to pay more. Okay. You just pay the price that you started with. Okay. So you'll be paying until we are done. The moment we are done, you are also done. It's good. But there's also other aspects. So the last aspect is that, let's say we are done with the product. And then you also pay it to a certain threshold. You are not done, but you need an extension to finish. Okay. Then we add a half year to it for you. Okay. That's the reason we give. So the moment we give you that, and you are able to finish paying, mm -hmm. then you can move it. Okay, that's perfect. Um, okay, that's really what I wanted to know. Okay. Um, and so I guess the next process after that would be. So yes. documentation. So right now, you if you show the interest with our property, mm -hmm. you this is the first step. You've, you've seen the property, you've seen the community, and how the vision that we are trying to achieve. Mm -hmm. So we will give you a form. You fill the form. You have to read it. You read the form, and you know all the regulations, the do's and don'ts of the company, and then you are satisfied with it. You sign, you fill, and then you write the type of house you're looking for. And after that, you list the changes. You go back again to the site. You list the changes. You view the, the completed unit. And then you list the changes that you want to be included into your house. Mm -hmm. And then we attach it to the phone. Mm -hmm. And then we send it to management. When management is okay, you are done. Well, after listing, after filling the form, you have to make the first Payment. deposit. Yes, mm -hmm. you have to make the first deposit to show that exactly you are. We can't just start. Oh, yeah, of course. Of exactly. course. Um, and so I just want to clarify one more time. How many four bedrooms are available in this And uh, Currently, the new ones that you've seen, four of them has been chosen already. Okay. Yes. But you guys have like how many though, all together? Uh, all together, we are building, each year we build 12 units. 12 units? Yes. Oh, okay. That's what so we're four doing. is already taken? Yes, four okay. is already taken. Okay. Yes. Okay. And then we don't know what code does. So weekly or even today, somebody can yeah. come and choose. Of course, of course. So, um, so then we will have to wait till the next year. Mm -hmm. But there will always be houses for you. Yeah. But I want you to. The best advice I can give you is that it's best for you to choose when it is an construction. Yeah, yeah. No, that that. Wait until we are getting to roofing. Now you are telling us we should break this. Yeah. No. Absolutely. I wouldn't even sense. do that. Unless um, we send you to another year of construction again. Yeah. Yeah, no, I wouldn't even do that. Um, I'm, I'm pretty familiar. I'm kind of uh, So, yeah, I would like to get the form, and um, I just kind of want to look through it um, on my own time. And then um, I obviously start to do my research, and then we can go and pick and choose which specific plot we would want. Okay. okay. Yeah, and so, and then we'll go from there. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. Let me give you the form. Okay.